Hey everyone, so a quick video before we move on to ERDL. Think of this as a pseudo part two for the Mitchell pattern video. If you haven't already, check out part one where we talked in detail about the pattern. But for those of you who may recall, we mentioned how the origin of the name Mitchell has remained somewhat elusive. Well, thanks to World War II Quartermaster Corps researcher Joshua M. Kerner, who contacted us with a plethora of information, we may now know the origin. Through his research, he stumbled across a few references to an individual by the name of Meldon Mitchell. Though photos are scarce, the most enlightening evidence was that of a 1964 article from the Daily News talking about him. The article starts with how Mitchell was working with the military in ways to conceal helicopters in South Vietnam, and goes on to quote him saying, We're looking for a new pattern to conceal the GI. The browns, greens, grays, and tans we used before in small patterns come out in one solid color in Vietnam so we have to find big patterns that will stay broken up at great distances. This may likely be a reference to the Mitchell pattern as the colors make sense and the shapes overall were smaller ones. However, going further down in the article, it begins to fill in the blanks a bit more about Meldon Mitchell. It specifies he started his career as a Marine during World War I. It was there he helped develop new forms of uniforms and early camouflage used by US and French forces in World War I, as well as forces operating in Haiti, Nicaragua, during World War II, and in Korea. But the most direct reference comes right at the end of the article where it mentions how he quote, made a new sniper suit and a poncho to disguise Marines. Two of the ponchos together make a camouflaged pup tent. But the most interesting piece is the photo included in the article which shows Mitchell holding what appears to be a swatch of the cloud side of the reversible Mitchell pattern. Also, if you look closely, you may notice that in the background another pattern is seen, which appears to be the wine leaf side. So all of this together paints a pretty solid picture that Meldon Mitchell was the creator of the Mitchell pattern, along with a variety of other patterns and military pieces. In the description below, you can find a link to an article written by Mitchell during World War II regarding concealment, as well as some interviews of his friends and family, which was posted in 2012. So just a quick little video here tying up a somewhat loose end regarding the Mitchell camouflage pattern. Judging by some of the information, it looks like Meldon Mitchell will be popping up again in future videos. I want to again thank Joshua Kerner for bringing this to our attention and providing all the links and info. Finally, keep your eyes out as the ERDL and Woodland videos are still being worked on and are right around the corner.